sitting down in Devon are the Eddystone Rocks. Now these rocks had claimed many a ship, so lighthouses were built to protect mariners. Our journey begins in the late 17th century. Now if you were going to choose someone to build your lighthouse next to Edison Rock, who would you choose? Would you go to say the person who'd built Thorpe Park or Alton Towers and say, you guys are great at building stuff, great at building rides, you can be trusted with the lives of many mariners? Or would you perhaps choose like an engineer who's known for building towers of this kind? Well, in 1698, there wasn't a lot of choice and they went straight to the person behind Winston Lee's waterworks, basically a theme park in Hyde Park. Henry Winston Lee was put in charge of this huge project to build the first lighthouse at Edison Rocks. At the time, England and France were at war. The Eddystone Lighthouse was so important that the Navy gave Winston Lee a warship to keep him safe while working. But one morning in late June of 1697, the warship didn't show up. Instead, a French ship came and took Winston Lee to France. When the French king, Louis XIV, heard about it, he said to let Winston Lee go. He said, France is fighting England, not good people. This gorgeous and slightly crazy structure unfortunately succumbed to a great storm of 1703, taking Winston Lee with it. Undeterred by the fate of its predecessor, the second lighthouse rose from the waves in 1709, crafted by John Rudyard. Rudyard's lighthouse stood for almost half a century until a fateful night in 1755. On this night, the lighthouse lantern roof caught fire, possibly from a candle. The keeper at the time was 94-year-old Henry Hall, who valiantly tried to stop and douse the fire. He ended up having like molten lead drip onto his throat, but he kept fighting the fire along with the other assistant keeper. They ended up getting pushed out of the tower and onto the rocks when the fire became too much for them to handle. A kind man, Mr. Edward, saw the fire from shore. He quickly sent a boat, but the sea was so rough they couldn't get close. They had to pull the keepers to safety through the waves with ropes. The lighthouse burned for five days, completely destroyed. Sadly, Henry Hall died 12 days later. It's claimed in an autopsy that the doctor found a piece of lead in his stomach. Then came John Smeaton, a man ahead of his time. His lighthouse, built in 1759, was an engineering marvel. Using interlocking stone blocks, he created a stone structure which stood for over 120 years. However, the erosion of the rock beneath it led to its dismantling, but part of this iconic lighthouse now stands proudly on Plymouth Hoe as a testament to its legacy. Finally, we arrive at the fourth and current guardian of Edison Rocks, built by James Douglas in 1882. This has been carefully curated out of dovetailed granite blocks. If you enjoyed this journey through a little bit of lighthouse lore and history, then do join us either here on this channel or over on our website lighthouseexplorers.com and there is also a podcast. So welcome Lighthouse Explorer or welcome back and I shall see you soon. Bye!